Next I would like to talk about selection methods. There are different ways, several different ways to select objects and parts of the object whether it be points, edges, or polygons. First let's get an object in here to, to work with. Add a few segments to it. And um, notice even though we can be on polygons mode or edges or points, we can't select any of them until we make the object edible. This is very important now we can select them. We can select faces, which are more or less the polygons of the object. Select those, move those around. And also if we hit R on the keyboard, we can rotate them. T on the keyboard, transform them, which is these tools up here. Notice R, T, and E. So we can uh, move those around however we, however we would like to. <coughs> Undo that. And then we notice if we press spacebar, we go back to the selection mode we were in. So spacebar generally goes from your your selection tool to your the tool you you are using. So if we select something, we go into a completely different tool. A tool I'll talk about later. If we go on the knife tool, we use that tool. If we press spacebar, then we're back in our selection mode. Now we can select other faces, go back to our tool, do whatever, and then spacebar to change back to our selection mode. Now let's undo that. Now we can also select edges. We can also rotate edges. Anyway, and we can also rotate, move, and select points and groups of points select those. Notice we only <coughs> we're only selecting very particular set of points. If you'd like to select this one point and have a little bit of control of the other points around it, we go to selection tool here as we already are and go to the attributes. We see under mode there's something called soft selection. We'll talk a little bit later about vertex pain, but right now soft selection. Now we can actually control more of those points based on the radius here determines how big your selection tool is. If ever you wanted to have something bigger, and also you can control that through a few different means. Oops. Go back to selection mode here. There we are. <coughs> oh, I made it pretty small. <laughs> Excuse me. You also, if you click and drag, if you scroll the middle mouse button while you're clicking and dragging, and you just use the scroll wheel, you can also adjust the radius of the brush, or should I say, um, you're just your the size of your selection tool. Right now we're in soft selection. If we um, get out of that, just go to normal selection. Then we can move those points without any of the other points moving around. Without any of the other points moving. Let's, uh, let's undo that. <laughs> undo a few steps there. And also, if we can also use the plus and minus buttons on, the, on your keypad. <coughs> or on the numpad, should I say. So we can use minus to go smaller or plus to go larger. Near the numpad. Or as I prefer, I just prefer to use the scroll wheel. We can also go to the attributes and change it there. Now I want to look at this. Only select visible elements. This is very important. Um, and and also keep in mind that these uh, that this selection mode applies to whatever we're on, whether we're points, edges, or or polygons. So if we go to edges, we select points. We just select those. If we um those on the front, those that we see. If we wanted to select those on the back, we can select, deselect, only select visible elements. And if we use that, we're actually selecting items in the back. But notice that we don't, we didn't see what we were selecting. If you go, as we discussed earlier, display, <coughs> go to lines, or NG, from the keyboard, you can see what you're selecting in the background. So you want to select all those edges, you can. Now, what if you make a selection? Let's go ahead and select 
visible elements only again. So we only get what we're seeing. Let's say you select something and then you select too much. So you didn't mean to select this edge here. If you hold down on the control key, click drag again, you can deselect what you selected. If you would like to select more, you can hold down the shift key, shift key click and drag, and select more. Now there's also different selection modes in here. Right now I like to keep I like to keep the default mode which everything is more or less separate. Now, um, also I want to show if you select something and you decide you want to select some points somewhere else, it will keep what you have selected inside of memory. And also if you save the file, you save the file, you reopen the file, you know, you just you do something else, maybe make another object, do stuff with it. If you go back to your cube, your selection is saved, and also your selection of your edges and your selection of your points are saved. If you would like to actually save that selection, maybe you want to select a different set of points, but you want to keep these particular points selected, you can go to Selection, Set Selection, and it adds a little tag out here to the side. Now this works just the same with the edges and the polygons. And you can just name this Corner. <clears throat> you can go back to your cube. You can select a different different sets of points, move those around. You can just double click on here, and you can select those points. Or if you want to select these points along with these points, just click and you go to select points here. It will actually add to that selection. You can also deselect points. You can also hide those points. So if you hide the points, they're not there. You can't select them. You may wonder, oh no. Hmm. All you have to do, selection, you can unhide. Unhide all, you can see all the points once again. And you can do the same with polygons, which is much more apparent if you go to selection. Hide selection, <coughs> then they're not there, they don't show up. They will still render, but uh, you don't see them in the, in the editing viewport. But they're still there, even though you don't see them. This is useful if you wanted to do something on the inside without zooming in all the way. If you want to do something from here, you can just have a little hole there, and when you're done, you can just unhide all. Which is fairly, fairly useful.